Hello and Grüß Gott. On this video I'm going to be building a Map A, Map B selector switch for my 2011 Nissan Xterra with a still-in supercharger. So the way it works is, if I understand correctly from reading the diagram still-in sent me, Map A is if you don't ground one of the wires coming off of their um, piggyback unit. If you do ground the wire, then you get Map B selected. So what I want to do is build a circuit that using a selector switch I can ground the wire that goes to the still-in piggyback unit and select map B. So what I've done is I went on eBay and bought a Nissan Xterra or actually a Nissan uh, pickup truck tow mode switch that should fit my Xterra. There's some uh, switch blanks. So I've figured out the pinout on this switch and the momentary on and off is the top two pins and then the very bottom is ground and the one above that is plus 12 volts and those go to the LED so when the switch is enabled it'll light up. Now this is only a momentary contact switch so I have to build a latching circuit. So I have a diagram here I found on the internet for a latching circuit. I got myself a double pull double throw um, latching relay and some parts here and I have some old Radio Shack PC boards I'm going to build it on and so um, what I'm going to do is build this circuit in such of a way that when I push this button and it goes into tow mode it'll give me a ground against the still in piggyback unit and it also will give me an on LED to tell me that tow mode has been selected or in this case map B. Map B is supposed to be a less aggressive driving mode. So we're going to go ahead and build the circuit up real quick and we'll be back and test it out and see how it works. I've uh, completed building my circuit. I have my 12 volt supply hooked up and if I push this it goes to tow mode which gives me a ground and that'll that ground will bring um, will change the still in from map A to map B and then when I want to go back to map A I just simply push that and I get either a high or essentially nothing there. So it won't ground that wire when, I, when the tow mode is off. So this should switch the maps on the still in from map A, or in this case B, back to A. So we're going to um, put it on the vehicle and just temporarily stick it on there and see how it works. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, at this point um, we've installed the tow mode switch to give us a ground over to the still in piggyback ECU. And so um, I'm going to de demonstrate how that works here in a second. But basically, when I push the momentary contact on the tow mode, it activates a latching relay, which puts a ground and gives me a ground over to the still in um, piggyback. When I push it again, it releases that ground and just leaves it open circuit. So I believe that's the way it's supposed to work with the still in unit. So I'm going to start the car up and we'll show you how it works in action here. Okay, so here it is on tow mode, and I'm going to push the switch, and you'll see it go off. So again, on and off. And it's a latching relay, so if I leave it on tow mode and turn the ignition off, and then if I turn the ignition back on, it goes back to the same setting that I left it at, because it's, it's latched. So that's about all there is to this video. Thanks for watching. Tschüss!